G'day guys, got a chemistry question for you today. We've got um, two solutions with equal volume which have pHs of 6 and 7. We're going to mix them together and we've got to find the pH of the resulting solution. We've got to assume the volumes are additive. So we aren't given volumes of each of the solutions, we're just told that they're the same. So what I usually do is I try and make the volume as simple as possible. So I'm, we know that this, the volumes are the same. So we're going to say volume 1 equals volume 2 and they equal 1 litre. And I, just so we've got all the information under control, we know that the pH of number 1 is equal to 6. And we know the pH of number 2 is equal to 7. Cool. So what we're going to do from here, guys, is we're going to um, sort of exploit slash rearrange the uh, formula that we usually use to find pH. Now, pH is a logarithmic scale, and we use it to find it. We go pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus ion concentration of a solution. So what we can also do, which is what we're going to have to do in this particular problem, is we're going to have to rearrange this so it's the H plus ion concentration in terms of the pH. So to do that, what we do is we uh, put both of these in the power. We put a base 10. We're going to take the negative over the other side. So we find, like, you know, this rearranged is, and you can probably commit this to memory if your maths isn't too great, you can say that the H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. Cool. So these are our two pH formulas that we're going to sort of exploit in this particular problem. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the H plus concentration of both of these solutions. So for the first one, um, I'm going to find the H plus concentration, so H plus concentration of number one. And that's going to equal 10 to the power of negative six moles per litre. And that's why, um, so these, when we've got nice even numbers for our pH, it makes our life a quite a lot easier. So our H plus concentration for number two, you probably guessed it, is 10 to the negative seven moles per litre. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually work out the number of moles of each of these the number of moles of hydrogen ions in each of these solutions. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. Now, what's good about having a volume of one is the number of moles is going to equal the concentration. So from here, I've got the number of moles of hydrogen ions in number one is just equal to 10 to the negative six. And I've got the number of moles of hydrogen ions in solution 2 is equal to 10 to the negative 7 moles. Now, we'll just take this up to the top here. So we've got that bit there. Let's draw a nice arrow. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the two solutions together. So we're going to find the number of moles total is equal to 10 to the negative 6 plus 10 to the negative 7. And that's going to give us 1.1 times 10 to the negative 6 mole. Now, what we do from here is we work out we have to work at our concentration of hydrogen ions so we need to know that concentration of hydrogen ions is going to be equal to the number of moles divided by the volume that's me rearranging that formula there which we find is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 
the volume, which now, because we've added them both together, is going to be equal to 2. So we find that the final concentration of hydrogen ions is 5.5 times 10 to the power of negative 7. Cool. So from here, guys, we just have to put this into our original pH equation. So we know that the pH of the final solution, let's just write pH final, is going to be the negative log of the H plus concentration, which is 5.5 times 10 to the negative 7. And we come out, guys, with a pH of 6.26. Now, pH doesn't have a, any kind of units. It's just a scale. So we find that the solution is slightly acidic. Not very acidic, but slightly. So guys, basically what we have on the surface here is a problem that looks relatively complicated because they haven't really given us that much information. But once you sort of understand that the um, volumes are arbitrary, for example, if I put like 17 litres in here, as long as they're equal to each other, the pH will be exactly the same. So making the volumes as simple as possible makes the calculations a lot simpler. And then you just use the relationship between hyd hydrogen ion concentration and the pH to solve our final pH. So guys, I hope the video helped. You know, if it did, definitely give it a thumbs up. It does my channel a little bit of good. Subscribe if you like. And, um, you know, just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. And I hope to see you here again sometime soon. Enjoy your chemistry.